Hello and welcome to this week's episode of One Pot. I had something else planned with Shovel Knight, but unfortunately my footage is trash. So we're back here at Resident Evil. This is the randomizer mod. Um, this is actually a run I've been doing for a bit with Chris. Because I've actually beat this game with Chris on with the randomizer on. I got a pretty interesting start. I'm just going to boot it up here. Um, so I'll show you the map, show you where I've been. Go there. But uh, I did a lot without a handgun. I know I know where the handgun is because I died as I was trying to edit out stuff. Because, you know, like rendering takes a while and having to change formats took a while. But because the audio was like overlapping, it was on the same track. It happened with the Shantae video, but because Shovel Knight's music is so loud, it was it was uh, drowning me out, so you couldn't hear me talk at all. So I fixed that. So I got a lot of cool stuff, but I did a lot of this with just the survival knife. So, and that's something I'm not comfortable with. We're going to head up and we're going to go grab the handgun now. And you're going to see some something pretty funny. But, uh, yeah, this week has been nuts. I've been playing through a lot of other games to just get footage for the best games of 2020. That video is going to be a lot of work, I can tell you right now. And Cyberpunk's coming out next week. <laughs> like, this, like, big... I'm going to take a... Like this big tentpole game, like a really important game's coming out next week. I also thought about doing one on uh, a video on uh, a game that came out today, actually, to be topical and all that. But it's been out for a while, so it's not a big deal. Uh, Dragon Quest Eleven S, Echoes of Illusion Age, Elusive Age, Definitive Edition. So yes, I have all the death masks, but I don't have the arrowhead to get into the basement to do stuff. And there's a crimson head here. Bye! Uh, the shotgun is in its usual spot, but I haven't found it yet. So let's just enjoy this little ride here as I go running off to go do battle with the dastardly snake. It hurt Richard, but Richard's not there. Which is weird. Um, I skipped the cutscene after we're like, let's let's take Richard to the medicine room. I'm like, okay. And then Rebecca and Richard aren't there. Because I've actually been... Uh, hold on, let me show you the map for a second. I've actually been out into the courtyard. And into the residence. But I don't have any keys for out there, so I can't do much out in the residence. I could get to the aqua ring, but I can't get into the... I can't drain the water, so there's kind of no point in being in there. Unless I just want to, you know, get myself killed. And that's not what we're about, you know? We're not about that. Life. Defensive dagger. Duck on shells. This is this is the randomizer mod I was playing before. Ben Powell did. I will link to him again. This is a great mod. Even if I feel that it makes the game a lot harder, even with out as I I'm trying to use hit boxes. Come on. In a second, come on! Even if having to knife zombies to death is just the least entertaining thing ever. <laughs> dead? Are you really dead? Yeah, he's really dead. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, because I'm playing Chris, I also have the lighter. That means that I can just go into that room. Okay, let's go fight the snake. We're gonna knife him to death. 
Actually, you can just dodge the snake. Okay, I said I knew where the handgun is. Here it is. So, we don't have to knife the snake to death. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! Where's the snake? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I the, I actually have the other room open. Uh, I got that key early. The helm. No, yeah, it's a helmet key. So I've actually been in to get other stuff, but um, it's just silly. It just no one no one expects the the uh snake to just not spawn what's over here again okay we'll just turn on the light kristen straight was is... what the junk there's no one out there He'll confirm. He'll confirm. He'll confirm. Okay, we're good. Yeah, don't want to waste my handgun bullets. It's not like I've picked up so many. I have only had knife a half a dozen or so zombies. The dog was the worst uh, to get the armor key. I'll let him come out so I can just shoot him over the table. Think he's actually dead? Yeah, I didn't think so either. Oh no, my headphones turned off. I don't think he's dead. I don't think he's dead. Okay, he is dead. Ba 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 ba. Flash and sound. Assault hand grenade. Cool. Just gonna. Technical difficulty. As I switch the battery in my headphones. These headphones are super useful. These are a pair of Arctis Pro Wireless. Kind of expensive, but uh, definitely. Definitely um, a decent pair of headphones. Ba 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 ba. Okay, so we went and fought the snake. Oh! What's this? Oh, another dagger. Cool. These antique daggers just... What? I'm actually gonna go put the knife away. So... Alright. We can go actually fight the snake, which I don't really feel like doing right now. A lot of daggers. Um... Wait, I missed an item in there? Oh, it was the herb, right? I better grab it, because if I don't grab it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, Oh no, I missed it! So yeah, this has been a crazy week. Um, and maybe people won't watch me halfway through Resident Evil here. Uh, it's getting late on Friday, and I gotta get this up and out the door. And it's not that I didn't have anything else planned. Like I said, I had Shovel Knight recorded, but it's broken. The recording's just broke. It's been rough. December is always a tough time of year. Especially when it, and it's, you know, you know, you get home from work, and you just want to relax, and it's just, it's been not fun. 
that's all I can say. The December has been kind of rough. And I'm sure everyone's having a rough December. Um, there's healing in there. Okay, let's... This way we're gonna go. People always have a rough December, and not. And again, it's if you're a retail worker, ugh, it sucks. Uh, extended hours usually start this week. Um, the the uh, region I'm in is. Whoa. Bye. The the region I'm in, uh, is on the border of being shut down or locked down again because of people not following the rules and uh, that's just not cool but it wouldn't affect me much so I had to paint this I think I totally talked about that in the series the, the short mini series do always moving that's just weird. Hey, this is something we need. Yeah, it is. Why did I bring all the stuff down here? Yeah, I'm not gonna read this. Rest in peace. Sign I can't read. I thought I'd be poisoned, but I'm not. There's a map of basement one. Cool, there's stuff down here still. Thank you, you're so funny. What's this? Oh, uh, we need one of those to get out of here. So we're just, I'm actually gonna just nom this down. Uh, we're gonna take this old key because I'm pretty sure the door is locked and we need an old key to open it. We can always just hit a save room up and dump off all the stuff. That's what was interesting about um, OG Resident Evil getting away from reality for a bit, talking about the game, uh, is that Chris was hard mode because he had less items. Come on. Red herb. We don't need red herb. Oh! Uh, that would actually have been useful before we started coming back. Convenient. Oh, I don't need that. Come on. Oh, you want me to believe you're dead? Got him put some space between us, switch back to the handgun. I'm gonna be honest, the quick weapon switch that was introduced in Resident Evil 5 is probably the best quality of life improvements that the game has ever had. Like, every game's had it since, like 2, 3, remake of both those remakes, 7. Six had it, even though six is not a particularly great gun. Great. Oh, it wasn't locked. I didn't need a key. Okay, well, we're gonna dump off stuff and come back. I think... I haven't done the Moonlight Sonata thing yet. Zambi's here.
damn it. I'm trying to have much space between here. He's dead. No, he's not dead. Actually dead? Actually dead. Okay, cool. Yeah, Chris was originally hardboat because he had less item slots and he started without a gun. So if you play randomizer, he's extra hard. And he has a hard mode on top of it. There was also a ranged mode in the DualShock version of Resident Evil. <clears throat> I mean, if you go back and play Resident Evil, this is probably the version you want to play. But... I wouldn't say that the original has zero merits. Uh, the DS version is actually really cool if you can get your hands on it. Uh, Deadly Silence, I believe it is called. Because Resident Evil DS, gotta, gotta have it. It's really interesting um, remake of the original game. I don't need, uh, I guess I should leave these two. One of those can open a shortcut. Okay. Yeah, if if you really want to go back and play Resident Evil 1 and not play a version of this dated, I'm not going to say that it's bad version because it's not. It really isn't. This is a good this is a good version of the game, but if you want to play one of the older ones, uh, the PlayStation DualShock version is probably the oldest one I'd recommend. The original or the Saturn version are a little rough. The DualShock version added a bunch of things, uh, it smoothed out the game a bit, and added a ranged mode so there's more ammo. Uh, I don't know if you actually need it to be. I haven't played it in so long. I might actually do that one of these days. So. Go on and uh, play the original one on PlayStation. Well, DualShock. Version. See how bad it is. The DS one's really cool and it what well, was really cool for the time. The novelty of the touch screen and the game had. Uh, The game let you do stuff like uh, you fought the plant or whatever with the touch screen, with the touch screen rather than just shooting at things. I'm gonna turn on the power. I need to go up there and try and get the battery. This was up there. Oh, I already turned it back. Nothing. Artemy misses the character having a specific item. Like Chris having the lighter. That I believe if you look at it. No. I thought they did something cool with it, but they didn't. I know that the um, original one from Resident Evil 1. If you look at the one that Jill picks up. Why did I go out here? Whatever, we're just going to dump out stuff while I'm yakking. Uh, it's a message from Jessica. Don't play with fire. It says on it. It's kind of 
interesting. I have a big video plan on Resident Evil. It's a series that's near and dear to my heart, but it's got some low points. We went back recently to go play five co-op and six co-op, and that's kind of a miserable experience, actually. How do I explain it? Um, Resident Evil 5 has some uh, crippling issues, in my opinion. Where it was fine at the time, but it's just not fun to play now. It just feels a little... It was early, they were experimenting with stuff. 4, 5, and 6 are good games, but they aren't good Resident Evil games. Excuse me. They lean too hard on uh, the action side and don't offer any of the horror or the intrigue or the suspense. They're kind of linear and they're split up into chapters to accommodate the multiplayer. Now, one of my favorite Resident Evil games, Resident Evil Outbreak. I have a knife. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, God. That's my bad. I was trying to go for the deeks. Yeah, Resident Evil Outbreak had a really cool concept for multiplayer Resident Evil split up into different sections and you got to pick survivors. Oh, it's such a fun game. I really, really want Capcom to do something with that. I think there's a lot you can do with Oh my goodness! Why am I so bad at this today? Oh, there's the battery. That's what we came for. Come on. What else is here? Randomizer. Ink ribbon. Don't care. I have 14 of them. I barely save in this game. A man! I want people to understand that uh, Resident Evil has had a long and interesting history, in my opinion. What's the actual- ooh! That's cool. Uh, what's over here? Is that the one that needs the gem? Hold on. If that's what- Oh, okay, the stone ring. Interesting. There is a box that requires the red gem to open. Oh, what's this? This is actually a flash grenade? Shotgun shells can't carry it. Is that the only other item in here? Okay. I don't have any shotgun. Don't have any shotgun. I don't have a shotgun. There's two for Chris, though, so I should technically be able to get one or the other. Okay, so now this will lead us back to the hall. There's an increment in this hall, and there's shotgun shells in that little room. So this puts us on the second floor. We'll just squeak down to that other room. To the medicine room. Just over here. Drop off some stuff, go grab those shotgun shells, and then the battery opens us up to the... Uh, oh, bugger. Yes. The RNG was on my side for once. That 
room was weird in the original. I don't remember there being a balcony in the original. Oh, you know what I should do a video on? Resident Evil Zero. I really like Resident Evil Zero. But I was talking about Resident Evil Outbreak. And how cool it was, even though I got into the PlayStation 2 so late that I only got to play it for a couple months before they shut down servers. Single player stuff's still there. That's kind of cool. But you're still yeah, playing it with someone. And that was one of the games that you couldn't use uh, voice chat. The voice chat did exist back in the PlayStation 2 era. Is there a crimson head in that other room? I mean, I got a lot of handgun bullets, but I don't want to waste them. I wish I had a shotgun. Shotgun would make my life so much easier. Uh. Oh, he's dead, dead. There's another one, though, I think. Crimson Heads were new to this version. Is it this door? Yes, this is the door. And then we're gonna go outside. I have to go a really stupid way to get outside. Well, I have a small key, so I could... Yeah, but then I have to... Okay. Alright. That was one of the annoying things about playing Chris, is Chris needed keys to open up doors. So, in the original Resident Evil, this... Oops, no. Mouse. Can you see my mouse? You can. This this door right here, Jill could open with the lockpick, but, but Chris needed a sword key to open this one and a couple others. Like this one. This one needs a... Needs a you can open it with a lockpick. This one also needs a lockpick to open for some reason. So you need old keys instead of... It was annoying, and it still is. I just don't want to... I should probably check outside, because the shortcut I don't really need. Because that door, they made a door break on this version, and it's kind of a bummer. Is it really already been 28 minutes of me just walking around and yakking about stuff? Holy crap. This game is one of those games that I could just play forever, and I, I've, play, I've already played it a bunch. I've had to have played this game at least eight or nine times on GameCube. No, I did not kill the dogs here. I better check outside, see if there's anything useful. I wasn't mashing the A button for dear life. No, why would I ever... This hallway's full of zombies. This hallway's full of zombies. Oh my goodness. You know what? I'm gonna make this a little extra long, but uh... If you want to stick around and watch it to the end, that's cool. Don't need it. That we need. Let's see if there's anything else here first. Shotgun shells? Okay. Uh, 
Uh, we can live without healing. I have so much healing in the box. I hope I grab the next herb with that. Not poison. Okay. We're going to grab this because we need this. This is very important. I already got the herbicide and there's like a first aid spray or something on the other side. I don't need the first aid spray. Okay, I actually cannot check the... I can't go into the box room without being able to... There's two of them. Double deeks. Do I open the shortcut? Should I open the shortcut and burn my last old key? Do I need the old keys for anything else? So, Grenade. Wait, get a good look. Here it comes. Hey, second. Wait, really? <laughs> I thought it was gonna like blow up in the camera's face. I thought it. Oh no, what the? Okay, I am gonna open the shortcut. Just because if I can't kill Plant 42, the door doesn't get fixed. To that save room. So I'm gonna need a way to gonna need to, a way to bypass a lot of this junk and not go through those halls again. Cause I have to go down to yeah. We'll use the old key. Cause they they get used up. Okay, so I have that shortcut back. Now that I think about it, there's a lot of games where keys are just, you just use them up and then they're done. Is that like an ape sound? What is that sound when the dog dies? Oh, before I forget, uh, I wanted to ask people because th that discussion is coming up for the best games of the year this is Brad. come in stars alpha team come in does anybody hear me this is chris this is brad stars alpha team bravo team anyway bye puppers So, we're getting to the end of the year, right? Um, and that means that the discussion is going to be what was the best game of the year. And I'm working on that video too because people want to know what you what you rated. But I want to do mine differently. So anyway, um, obviously it's too late to have user feedback on it. And I don't have a big enough audience to take user feedback for like viewer's choice but I will consider such a category in the future okay I just gotta go grab the the crank so but my question is what is your game of the year. Now, my game of the year, your game of the year, probably different. We didn't play the same traits. Totally 100% possible. You didn't play all the games I played. Maybe you played some of them. Maybe you didn't. I just want to know what are 
your favorite games of the year of 2020 because a lot of people got stuck at home for a bunch of it and I'm sure they got to play a lot of games and you know what it doesn't even have to be from this year like I'm putting that restriction on myself but there's probably a bunch of people who got stuck inside uh that's like so great this is the one we need and there's another safe box down there, so I don't need to worry too much. That's really the thing, though. Like, what is your game of the year? Like, I, I want to know. And I will accept whatever game you, you enjoyed the most this year. Because the game I think I'll enjoy the most this year it be interesting. Uh, it's still kind of up in the air, but I'm going back and I'm playing games again to like cement their position. Well, I think some games are great. There are other games that were not so great, like Bleeding Edge. Um, I don't think it's a bad game. I had to put this up here though. I don't think Bleeding Edge was a bad game, but I wanted to go back and play it again. However, I just can't justify it. That dog was right there. Come on, one more time. Come on, doggy. Yeah, the, f the, the, the getting the midair never gets old for me. Oh god, if I do this, then there's gonna be hunters. Or will there be? No, there'll be hunters down there, but... This is tough, like, I need more items. This is the, this is the... This is the hang up with uh, playing a randomizer, right? Like, you'll trip stuff. That's why the snake didn't spawn right in the beginning, right? You'll trip something and things will happen. And they didn't. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to stop this. I'm going to stop this one right here. I need to use the washroom. I'm going to play out another half hour or so and I'll put it up for Sunday. So, if you want to see. I don't know if I finish it all. I'll try and record the rest of this out like I did the other one, but I missed the first half for you watching me knife things. It took me a long time. Does it have playtime? It does not have playtime. Okay. But anyway, I'm babbling a lot because I need to go to the washroom. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Remember, what was your favorite game of 2020 you played? And again, I'm going to take all the restrictions off of you. What is your favorite game you played this year? It doesn't even have to be from this year. It could be as old as you want. Alright. With that said, until next time. Matane!